This is me. He said that I'm good enough. Grabbing my da da da. Thinking about shit that I shouldn't have. And this is I Spice. You thought I was telling you? No. That's money. I apologize. That was not the right video that was supposed to go there. I have no clue how that happened. I was trying to say that this is I Spice. Like. Okay, but in all honesty, this is I Spice. And we're gonna be eating like her for a full 24 hours. Are y'all just gonna stand there or can we get started? A eater is just somebody that just likes to like eat. Okay, besties, y'all know what time it is. It's breakfast time. Now, if you know anything about Ice Spice, then you know she loves her oats. I'm thick as I be eating oats. Me, on the other hand, I'm not an oat girly. I don't like oats, hate oatmeal. Literally makes me want to vomit. So I decided to go with the second option that they gave for breakfast. So it says typically Ice Spice will have oatmeal topped with fresh fruits and a sprinkle of nuts. But I guess on a day where she's not filling the oats, she'll go with a vegetable omelet and whole grain toast, which is what I'm going to be making because I don't even want to think about eating oatmeal. It's really going to suck when I do one of these challenges and I'm going to be forced to eat oatmeal because I don't know. I just hated it since I was a kid. Shorty gonna check that, bang that, drop that, hit that, pack that, kick that, send that, fuck that. Shorty gonna check that, bang that, drop that, hit that, pack that, kick that, send that, fuck that. ready to eat some yummy breakfast because I know I am. Now me typically I would add a little meat to my breakfast. I like to have a little bacon, a little turkey bacon, a little sausage, a little something. Thankfully I Spice is not vegan so I don't have to go vegan today. I just I love meat. I love it. Anyways I put a little hot sauce on mine. Now I didn't mention it in the article but I feel like I Spice can probably handle a little spice. I mean I Spice come on now like I have my vegetable omelet with my whole grain toast. I'm excited. Mmm. Mmm. I can't even talk right now because this omelet is so good. Your girl knows how to cook. Like, I be, I be whipping it up in the kitchen. What more can I say? Delicious. Yummy. Don't even need the meat. Honestly, I'm not even missing the meat. I was a little skeptical on the multi-grain toast because I was hoping it wouldn't taste too weedy, but y'all think I'm being dramatic, but this is actually... Mmm. Okay, I'm at my desk. I'm getting some work done right now, but apparently for a snack, Ice Spice likes to have Greek yogurt with a handful of berries and some honey drizzled on top. Now, the only issue is I apparently forgot to pick up Greek yogurt and I don't have any in my fridge either. So we had to improvise and I used cottage cheese. Yeah, that's all I had. I actually think I hate cottage cheese. I don't eat it enough to know, but um, we'll try it this way and we'll see. I know some people eat cottage cheese with berries. Apparently right now the craze is cottage cheese, dipping the like veggies, sausages, everything, cottage cheese. I'm not a huge fan, but we'll see what we're working with. That honey that I got from Aldi smells weird. My issue with this is that it's actually not that bad. If the honey was good, I feel like I actually would kind of like the cottage cheese. Is that toxic? Yeah, I actually don't hate it. Am I becoming a cottage cheese girly? Maybe I am. Oh, that's actually gross, but like, I don't know. I kind of like the bitter taste. Oh my God. I am questioning a lot of things about myself right now, but hey, it was good. Now, another essential for Ice Spice's routine, which is also an essential in my routine, is taking supplements. The article says that Ice Spice uses protein powder, multivitamins, collagen, and probiotics, and says even if you eat a healthy diet, you may still lack some nutrients. Which, as you guys may know, because I've mentioned it before, I take vitamins from Care Of. If you're not 
not familiar with Care Of, they are a subscription service that ships high quality personalized vitamins, supplements, and powders to your doorstep every month. This right here also makes it so much easier because you never run out of vitamins. I'm sorry, but I don't have time to run to the store, get new vitamins, refill my little Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I don't have time for that. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. But I love that Care Of's just come in these little packs that you can take every day with all the vitamins that you need. And they're also personalized and very cute. And they have your name on them. As I mentioned before, adding magnesium to my routine was a game changer. Cause I'm a gym girly. I try to go to the gym when I can. And it has been so much better for my muscle and bone health. It helps me bounce back after my workouts. What I love specifically about Care Of is that you can take a quiz on their website and they'll match you with vitamins specifically for you. Because I struggled with trying to figure out what vitamins I needed. And I would walk into the grocery store literally lost because there's like a whole aisle of vitamins. How are you supposed to know which ones you need? Take Care Of's quiz and see what vitamins and supplements they recommend for you. Click the link and use my code Sierra Ann for 50% off your first order at Care Of. And thank you so much Care Of for sponsoring today's video. For lunch, it says that Ice Spice enjoys grilled chicken or salmon served with a colorful salad filled with mixed greens, cherry tomatoes, cucumbers, and avocado. sure that my cherry tomatoes are topped up really well. I just cannot eat them whole. We're making sure we get all the colors. We're making a colorful salad, a rainbow salad. Feel free to hype me up in the comments. Y'all know my cutting skills have improved. Even if it's just a little bit, they've improved. Moment of truth, time to see if the avocado is ripe. Oh shit, I don't think it is. Oh, it's ripe enough, I think. At least I hope. Salt and pepper is a must on vegetables. dressing that I haven't used from a salad kit. So I'm gonna use that on top as a little dressing for my salad and a little bit of juice from a lemon. Okay, besties, this salad looks so good. Like I am shook by how aesthetically pleasing it turned out. Like, should I just retire from YouTube and become like a Pinterest chef? Cause why does this look so good? Like, I don't even know if it'll taste as good as it looks, but let's find out. And again, I'm still at my desk because I have a lot of editing to do. I'm mostly excited for this salmon. It turned out perfect. Let's get a bite of everything. Let's get some avocado in there. I said, let's get some avocado auto in there. Okay, there we go. I've noticed Ice Spice, judging by this article, eats pretty low carb. I mean, I didn't have the oatmeal in the morning. That would have been some extra carbs. Also, I had the bread. But all the rest of the meals are actually pretty low carb. This is my first time ever eating a salmon salad. It's a salmon salad. I don't know. I kind of feel like a Kardashian. Like, who are you? I'm... I just dropped it on the ground. I'm Kim Kardashian. After eating this for about, I don't know, five minutes or so, I'm starting to realize this does not have enough flavor. Like it kind of lacks flavor. That's how much of this that I ate. Um, I'm just like really full and I don't think I can eat this right now. Yeah. For dinner, I Spice has a lean protein, which I chose chicken breast, paired with a serving of roasted veggies, such as broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. I decided to go with the broccoli and cauliflower paired with some leftover cabbage I already had in my fridge. I also added a honey buffalo sauce to my chicken breast because it's still a lean protein, just needed a little sauce. I was trying to film me taking a bite, but I got so distracted because Kevin was there and he kept staring at me. And here he is trying to be the star of the show. But really, yeah, this dinner was really good, really healthy. I could actually see myself having this for dinner if not doing the challenge. Okay, so it's been a few days since I ate like ice spice for 24 hours. And I just wanted to give my final thoughts on how I guess this day went, how I felt after eating these foods. Okay, so clearly I did not finish my lunch. So, I mean, you could kind of tell I was already pretty full and there was actually supposed to be an additional snack. Now, obviously no one eats the same every single day. So who knows if she really has this many snacks and this many meals per day. But at the end of the day, I was supposed to either eat a piece of dark chocolate or a bag of popcorn. Now, obviously I was a bit full, so I didn't even 
even get to eat the bag of popcorn. I plan to eat the bag of popcorn because I love popcorn. Fun fact, I actually put hot sauce on my popcorn. It's really good. If you've never tried it, you should try it. But yeah, I didn't even get around to it just because like this day, it felt very well balanced. It felt good for someone who I guess gets hungrier throughout the day. It had a lot of protein, obviously with the nuts and Greek yogurt is also pretty high protein. Now I had cottage cheese. I think they're both actually pretty high in protein. So yeah, I think I, I definitely felt really good throughout the day. There wasn't a time that I felt super hungry. There wasn't a time that like I felt tired from the food. So I would say that this diet, diet was a really good one. It was really fun to participate in. Now the ones that I hate are like when I have to go vegan or vegetarian or something like that. It's just not for me. This day was relatively lower in like carbohydrates carbohydrate, whatever, which for me, as y'all know, like heavy carb food just like makes me super tired throughout the day. So I think that that's why I function so well eating like how I did on this day. But definitely comment down below. Let me know what y'all thought of these foods and also comment down below and leave the next celebrity you would like me to do one of these eating like a celebrity for a day for. I have a juicy drop pop right now. It's okay. I think Ice Spice would approve. I mean, she still drinks juice boxes. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Love you guys. And yes, my tongue is red. Uh...